Billy Joe Saunders says the ring is no longer an issue. Eddie Hearn and the powers that be, DAZN, took care of it. This has also been confirmed by DAZN. And we're going to talk about all that and more in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. People just want to say um, I'm pleased the issue's sorted because obviously as you can see I tagged Eddie Earn and Canelo the last video and the ring is not a problem so thumbs are up chilling back watching a few films and uh, Eddie get the ring in mate yo what up fight world it's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing make sure you smash the like button if you're new to the channel if this is your first time hearing my voice hit the subscribe button Hit the bell notification for post notifications so you know when I drop new content if you love the sport of boxing. Now, let's talk about it. It's been quite the mess. I'm going to quickly recap. I'm not going to go in depth. If you guys want, follow the channel, hit the subscribe button, and check out the previous videos to really get caught up to speed with more in-depth. But quickly, Billy Joe Saunders threatened to pull out of the main event. This is for the second week in a row, a DAZN fight, an Eddie Hearn rematch room card where the main event, one of the participants in the fight had threatened to pull out. Billy Joe Saunders has now um, claimed that you guys seen the beginning of this video. He's complained that all issues have now been handled and DAZN posted it. And this is the platform the fight's going to be on. It says Billy Joe Saunders says that the ring is no longer an issue. Let's see what um, the fans have to say real quick. Canelo's reach is far too big. We've asked for Canelo's arms to be shortened. They refuse. The fight is off gutted. But all we want is fairness. Tom Saunders. So that was a quote from Billy Joe Saunders dead. It got 540 likes. They threatened his paycheck. LOL. I'll fight him anytime, anywhere, but not in a 20 foot ring. <laughs> That's funny. Luis is funny for that. <laughs> so it said TF he the F he in the bed for Billy with some post nut clarity. Oh wow. They're going in. This is this is hilarious. All that just to get knocked out. <laughs> they going in. They said okay, no payday. Then he changed his mind. He's scared, I could tell. This guy is a joke. He'll look for another excuse. Canelo will stop him. Okay, here's what they think about you. So back to the regularly scheduled programming. Billy Joel says that Eddie Hearn, um, the issue has been handled. To me, this whole thing looks like a mess. Canelo had to be solo with his trainer. Two professionals, they showed up for their media obligation. I've seen pictures of Canelo, right? I've seen pictures of Canelo. And from this event, he looked like he was visibly kind of annoyed or perturbed because it's just not professional conduct that you would expect from two guys getting millions of dollars for one of them to decide not to show up and create these, um, you know, situations. Now I will say this, I haven't looked over the contract. That's none of my business. So I don't know what was discussed between Eddie Hearn and Billy Joe Saunders. But if you don't have anything in the contract that says you have to have a ring this size or this size, then, you know, it's everything's fair game. The ring people, a lot of people are in, in unfamiliar territory and they're saying whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, we don't know what was promised. We only know what Billy Joe Saunders, who hasn't always been truthful. And we don't know, you know, what was discussed or what was promised. But the ring that they were going to use is smaller, which would probably be of benefit to Canelo because he's considered more of the puncher and he wouldn't have to. Um, track Billy Joe Saunders down and Billy Joe Saunders of course would probably want the bigger ring because he'd have more room to wiggle room and more room to to move and lateral movement and stuff like that so I don't know what they decided but it looks like they worked it out ring gate has been resolved and this just 
it's just messy for a main event. Like I, I can't picture, and I always bring up Floyd because this is supposed to be the face of boxing after Floyd. You see what I'm saying? And I can't picture a Floyd event just looking this bad where, you know, the guy's threatening to pull out and it goes public and his dad is saying the fight is off. Get your money back. Like, I understand trash talking. I understand skullduggery. And I understand mind games. But Canelo, again, is a professional, right? He's been fighting as a pro since he was 15. So I don't know that these mind games would get him so out of character to the point where he's going to make egregious mistakes. So if Billy Joe Saunders does not win this fight, I think he will look extremely bad because you've seen the comments I previewed. Those are just regular fan comments on the DAZN page. And some people look at it like he's just looking for a way out, cold feet and making excuses. This is what Canelo is quoted as saying. I don't care about the size of the ring. I'm just going to go in there and do my job. It's not the only excuse he's had. He's had plenty of excuses. The fight is going to happen. So Canelo, even before Billy Joe Saunders put that video up, he was confident that would happen. You know, and I figured it would happen because there's a lot of money on the table. And I'm sure Billy Joe Saunders would probably be liable for some type of um, like almost damage if he did if he has a contract where he signed he said he's gonna fight the guy and there's no injury or nothing you just mad at the ring size unless you can prove again that you have it in writing that the ring was supposed to be your side but most more than likely is this just looks like billy joe saunders playing games because here's the thing canelo alvarez is the a side so who would have allowed billy joe saunders the b side to pick the ring size especially when the ring falls within the the legal parameters per the Texas Commission. You know, that's one of the perks of being the A-side is that you have the, the carte blanche to do this, whether fans or, or whatever like this or not. That's one of the perks of being the A-side. That's why guys work to get the A-side. I mean, you even see Errol Spence. He said, man down, big fish. I'm not taking the smaller cut with Terrence Crawford. I've done the heavy lifting. I've done more than him. You know, why would I take 50-50 split with him and look at my welterweight resume and then look at his? Canelo, you see him on private jets. You know, he got the Canelo bag and whatnot. He's the A-side over Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, you know, I, I'd be hard-pressed to believe that majority of the fans that do show up in Texas are going to be Billy Joe Saunders fans, and that's what they came for. So we know he's the A-side, so I doubt Billy Joe Saunders would have had you know, a say in this extra large ring. I mean, so this is just common sense. You knew, and this is the thing, Canelo historically has done these little um, strategic edges and advantage, catch someone off a quick turnaround. They tried to do it to Caleb Plant. His fight, he hadn't even fought. And then there was rumors circling that Canelo wanted to fight him, you know, in a certain amount of months, and he wouldn't have had no time to train. He would have to go from one fight to the next fight. It was in the Vincent Fines butt fight, right? Kovalev, tough fight with Anthony Yard, no time to rest. Caleb Smith, they said he had a four week training camp, et cetera, et cetera. So you know Canelo is the A side, and you know he's going to try to play that, and he's comfortable playing the strategic edge. So I don't even understand why Billy Joe Saunders would even be surprised. You shouldn't have signed the contract if you were fearful of that, because you know, Canelo is going to have his a side demand. He feels like when I was fighting Mayweather and Cotto, I was the B side. Now you got to live the life of a B sider, you know, and that's just what it is. So the issue has now since been resolved. As always, I give you guys both sides of the coin they were flying out John Ryder, I guess, as a, a backup, which I think they should have probably thought about these types of things. Billy Joe Saunders inconsistency and Billy Joe Saunders, you know, weird personality. You know, the whole situation is weird. I don't know if this really helps the fight. At the end of the day, another thing I find weird is you have two gypsies, Tyson Fury and Billy Joe Saunders, complaining about fairness and they both failed drug tests, Right. They both failed drug tests and they talking about what's fair and what's not fair. Beyond that, Tyson Fury himself has a situation where people believe he cheated in the Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder fight. So it's just hypocritical behavior. Canelo says he's over it. 
He called Billy Joe Saunders' team, who was like heckling him and passing. He called them effing P-U-S-S-Ys. I got the video on my Instagram, so make sure you guys follow me, at Boxing Ego one you know. I'm, I got some memes up there. I said, still a bigger ring than Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders with this Beyonce ring. But here's the video. You guys could watch it. Saunders' team was in the lobby or whatever, and Canelo's team, they seen him, and Canelo start calling him a P-U-S-S-Y. Like, so, I don't know. Some people are going to say Canelo's out of character. I think Canelo's a professional, man. You know, I think Canelo's a professional, so... I don't know how out of character it was. To me, I think he was just, he just annoyed. He thinks it's lame, so he called him an effing P-U-S-S-Y. You know what I mean? I don't think he's so out of his skin where he's going to fight drastically different. You know, he knows he has more dog and probably more power than Billy Joe. So we'll see how it plays out. That's the latest. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We working. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.